Yes, guys, welcome to another show this afternoon. Thank you again for joining me for another episode of Your Chat. Listen, people, um, let's get into the show this afternoon. Um, we all know that Sean Strickland and De- Darius Duplexis, I'm always mess up his name, people. Um, Sean Strickland is calling for a rematch. Um, I believe Sean Strickland deserves a rematch. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, but I, I, I could see where uh, Darius Duplexis is going. You know what I mean? In that division, no one is holding the belt. Um, no, the the belt is just exchanging hands since Izzy um lost the belt to Sean. You know, got stopped by Sean Strickland. But regardless of that, um, I do believe Sean Strickland deserve a rematch. Um, right now, um, Duplexis. I I just think he's taking some time off. You know, what I mean to reflect. Um, you know, what I mean it's it's gonna be well. But Sean Strickland is calling for the rematch. Um, I don't know. I don't know if UFC is going with that because UFC made it clear that um, they want to go a different route. Um, do Sean Strickland deserve a rematch? I believe so. Did Sean Strickland won the first fight? I believe he won the first fight, people. I believe that um, the referee, there was very bias in that fight. You know what I mean? Like I said, and I also did a video um I did a video, people. Uh, it's also it's up on my channel. Go watch that video. I did a video also. Um, you know, um, after the fight that Sean Strickland won that fight. People, people don't understand. You know what I mean? Um, to beat the champion, you have to beat the champion. I'm. You know, I never. I didn't see a dom a dominate win for Duplexis. You know what I mean? Um, so Sean Strickland right now, so he deserved the rematch. Um, right now, from what I'm hearing, um, UFC want to book the fight with Izzy and um Sean Strickland. I, I really don't see no purpose to that because Izzy got stopped by Strong Strickland. So uh, a rematch, mm, you know what I mean? Yeah, but you know, I believe as a as a champion, you deserve the rematch. I believe UFC should have you know figure out some way to book a rematch between Strong Strickland and da- Darius Duplexis. You know what I mean? Um, wow, you know what I mean? So right now, there's a lot of heat on social media where um. Sean Strickland's going on record said that he deserved the uh, you know the the you know a rematch and also people don't forget UFC 300 is coming up in a couple more weeks or a couple more months and um we have Alice Pereira going against uh Jamel Hill you know what I mean while a lot of people now are going on social media talking about Jamel Hill better be careful because Alice Pereira is a beast people are always say that Alice Pereira is one of those fighters that if I'm in a dark corner in a dark alley I want this man in my corner because somehow he will find a way out and become you know just find his way out people he's finding way out so you know what I mean listen thank guys you know thank you guys for joining this afternoon you know what I mean but I you know Wow, you know, Sean Strickland deserve deserve a rematch, people. You know, it just is just something that I'm doing today. He deserve a rematch. Um, did, did Darius the Plexus beat him? No, I don't think he was a, a, a you know dominant or a knockout. You know what I mean? We we'll see how it go. Um, right now, I guess Izzy is going against Sean Strickland. That's the fight that I'm hearing. You know, uh, Izzy say yes to that fight, but um, right now Sean Strickland, I think he really want a rematch. You know what I mean? Um, he does deserve a rematch. Yes, he deserves a rematch. You know, you're ex-champion, and um, also, um, Sean Strickland also took to social media, and um, he also made a comment that he won a rematch. Um, he won the fight with a judge, and also you have a, a a fan that replied back to one of his comments saying that you know the remark that he made earlier, people, you know, I'm not gonna. Re- uh, you know, a repeat remark, remarks that he made during that week of, of you know, the fight. But um, I'm not because, you know, I don't want to get a strike on my channel, people. But um, like, you know, Dana White going record and said, this man, you know, they don't control their fight is what they say. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, they they have liberty, you know, they have freedom of, you know, freedom of speech to say what they want. You know, um, UFC, as, as caught in Dana, is not a dictatorship. They don't control the fighters or whatever. But again, you know what I mean? We have to res- we have to respect um we have to respect uh both parties you know what I mean um like I said strong Strickland is entitled to say he want to say and sometimes some people take it the wrong way you know what I mean um listen you know like Dana White said you know he this is a fighting business is he don't uh pick sides or you know he just make fights and he's in the fighting business and some people take things too too far or just take it too you know being sensitive you know some people just need to stop you know um 
like I said, um, UFC is one of the organizations that is is the fourth forerunner of, of you know MMA people. You know, I mean, if you haven't making it in the UFC, um, it's just like um, MVP came over to UFC and um, went against um, UFC two nine nine. Um, went against um, Kevin Holland. You know, what I mean, and he's saying that he, that wasn't his best performance. He could perform better. People, you know, what I mean, uh, yeah, you know, what I mean, it wasn't a, a, a spectacular victory, or you know, he wanted a knockout, or you know, making his debut in the UFC. But once again, you know, what I mean, listen, that 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 division, people, that vision right now is going to get warmed up. That vision going to get hot. We have a lot of a lot of contenders. You know, what I mean, um, right now, Kevin Hall is you know set back. Gilbert Burns is set back. You have MVP. You know, what I mean, there's a lot of fights that MVP could go, you know, go against for, uh, uh, Robert Whitaker. There's a lot of fights, people. You know, what I mean, there's a lot of fights that um, UFC could book for MVP. But, you know, what I mean, um, we just have to see how everything played out for the next couple of weeks. You know, what I mean, because we have to see how um, we have UFC 300 coming up. You know, that card, you know, it's a very good card, people. You know, I will do a show close to when UFC coming, you know, UFC uh, 300. You know, I mean, I already did some show on it, you know, what I mean, but uh, I will do another video on that, you know, my picks and my breakdowns of the fights. And once again, you know, thank you for joining this afternoon on this Sunday afternoon, people on March 17. Very nice day out. You know, what I mean, um, it's about 64, 65 degrees in New York. So thank you again for joining me. And till next time, people.